If you're making a Mai Tai with instant mix and flavored rum, you're doing it all wrong. The biggest mistake people make when making a Mai Tai is everything. Mai Tai mix, don't even bother. There's no pineapple juice in a Mai Tai. And if you ever get a pink Mai Tai, that means there's grenadine in it, and that's wrong. The next thing you're doing wrong is the rum. White rum, coconut rum, mango rum, whatever. These are all artificially flavored junk. And now you've got all this, and you're gonna throw it in a blender? No, the Mai Tai is not a slushy frozen drink. And finally, Mai Tai doesn't come in a hurricane glass. This isn't Bourbon Street. Trader Vic would spin in his grave. Now I'm gonna show you the right way to make a Mai Tai. Juice three quarters of an ounce of fresh lime juice into your mixing glass. Next, add a quarter of an ounce of rock candy syrup. Rock candy syrup is different from simple syrup in that it's two parts of sugar to one part of water. Add a quarter of an ounce of orja. Orja is a French almond syrup with a little subtle hint of orange and rose flower water. Next, add half an ounce of orange curacao. This adds a really lovely fresh orange peel flavor to it. And finally, add two ounces of a premium aged rum. We make our Mai Tais with Appleton Estate 12 year aged Jamaican rum blended with Eldorado Demerara rum. But you can use any kind of premium aged rum to create the flavor profile you enjoy. Fill the glass with crushed ice and shake vigorously until you get a little frost on the metal half of your shaker. That's how you know your drink is chilled, aerated, diluted, and perfect. Pour the entire contents into a double old fashioned glass. To garnish the Mai Tai, add one half of the spent lime shell. Take a good sized sprig of fresh mint, and give it a little slap between the palm of your hand. And this way, when you're drinking the Mai Tai, you really enjoy that minty, fresh aroma and the peel oil from that spent lime shell. It's an integral part of the drink. Plus, as the trader said, it looks like a little tropical island with a little palm tree floating right on top of your drink. If you've done it all right, you'll be left with the flawless balance of fresh, vibrant lime juice and a premium rum, speaking loud and clear and tasting beautiful.